Okay, so <laughs> why the factoring settings for your guitar, your everything, are maybe not the Bible. Hey, it's me, Baxter. And Jonathan. From Casino Guitars. We're talking about factory specs. We get this a lot. We hear it a lot. Like, hey, this is the way it says on the website. This is the way I want my guitar set up. It's this many micrometers and gospel velocimers. It's right of string height. This is how the pickups need to be set. This is what should be set with the... Say, well, just relax for a minute. Just take it easy. Have a little... It's martini time, right? I just, I'm already looking forward to the comment section of this. <laughs> I know. As John that knows what's coming. Oh, yeah, I do. No, no. It, it, we, they're there for a reason. There is, hey. there's a benchmark. No, that, that but then let's, let's starting just, point. A starting, starting point. point. Well, let's get into, <laughs> let's, that, let's get into personal preferences. That's a huge difference, but let's skip that entirely. Let's talk about what these things are made of. These guitars. Wood. Yes. An organic material that moves. It moves, bends, shapes, and twists, <laughs> and does all sorts of funny things. And sometimes when they're building it, they, it's happening there too. Let's say they're building this amazing, really nice, expensive guitar right now. They're not going to destroy it because they, th they think, well, this is moving a little bit. They're going to modify and specify it to where it's going to be awesome. And probably and for the most part, so I've seen some walkers and we've sent those right back to the, the death bin. And I mean, that's why really those specs are like a range. They're not like a specific thing, really, if you if you look into them, you know, or they shouldn't be a range. But, you know, I mean, you could set, I've seen guitars where you, they could be great, but you set them to the factory, suggest done thing, that, and they're buzzy and <laughs> not good. <laughs> we've, done, we've done it as little trials and like our intellectual designs. Like, let's do this exactly how it's supposed to be. Ugh. Like dead spots, thuddy, you know, buzzy. Well, some of them I just don't like. I don't like my on a strat the trim to be three millimeters above the body. Well, that, like, that is the specs for a fender. That is, but I don't. I don't enjoy that. You I, don't like it floating. It like I don't, like floating I my like wizard. touching the wood, Ew, touching the wood. Um, yeah, like I like mine floating a little bit. You do no, not quite as much, but not as much as. But they then come. sometimes I do like to deck it. Yep, you know, it, it depends. I mean, I'm also me. I'll play anything. You just hand me a block. You, you don't know. You don't care. Don't, don't pretend you care. I look at it, I'm like, cool. I have trams like that. <laughs> it's fine. I'm like skiing on top of <laughs> it. doesn't really, I mean, I'm still going to play it. It's a guitar. I get to play guitar. I'm so excited to play guitar. Yes. That's the, you know, it's, um, we had, we had a new guy start just kind of just this week done. And he was like playing guitar in the shop for a minute. And, and I was like, we got, we don't play too much guitar. <laughs> so I was like, no, it's okay. Like I'm lucky enough. Cause I get to play guitar in demos sometimes. And, you're always gigging. Yeah. Some of these guys, you know, we don't really play guitar in the shop very often. It's not like we sit down and jam. No. That'd be cool, though. No, I mean, and he's a jam guy, too, which is like, his name's guy. Dylan. So if you, you'll you see him, like, walk behind the camera. So I mean, he's mainly, he um he just does the sweeping of the carpet. He hasn't figured out you should vacuum. We'll let him vacuum. We'll make him sweep. Sweep that carpet. No, but you'll see, you'll see him around. So if you ever get Dylan on the phone or something, just say hello and say, hey, welcome to the team. He's sweet and he's sensitive and likes compliments. So got good muscles. True. That's useful for us yeah. in casino land. Anyway, back to it. So um yeah, I, I don't ever look at what the factory specifications are for um setting your setting your I really I set it how I like it at this point because I've been doing it for so long. You know, and, and I, I have some with pedals I do. That's so funny. I know. I've gone like I've gone on Strymon before because like those pedals were so well, crazy. I guess that, right? Like if you gotta go into a menu and jump. Yeah, then you kind of no idea. Like you even know how to adjust things. But no, I have pedals. I just like turn it off. Yeah, with simple pedals, I'm like, good. Yeah. Like with Strymon, I was like, I have no idea how to. No, I, I get that. I, I understand that. I gave that pedal to Zach, who's coming to visit on Sunday. Oh, yeah. um, I gave that pedal to El Cap. Yeah, yeah. Like, like years ago, I was like, dude, I can't figure this out. Like, there's just too much stuff. Because you like the way it sounded. It sounds you great. Just, you just, there was just too much. And I just use it for one sound. Right. And I was like, I'm just not going to, I don't need a pedal for one sound like that. And you know, that's why you buy a pedal, right? For one sound, usually. Sadly, kind of, yes, yeah, actually. In, in all honesty to yourself. Like, so, <laughs> no, no, tweaking all anybody's time. gigging is probably not tweaking all the time. I don't. I'm like, God, I have to move my knob moves. Darn it. So, I don't know. No, I mean, but, like, pickup height is a strange thing, too. Like, when people are, are specking it out. Because, like, you know, God, it's, it's really weird. And when we work at the custom shop quite a bit, 
every pickup that's hand wound, and particularly Josefina's, they're all so different. They are. So I feel like yeah, if you do by spec heights, like you don't know, you, she might have like she might have been feeling saucy and got you a little bit hotter. She might have been feeling relaxed and chillaxing. And well, and you got you know, actually, I pick up. Took me a while to balance my strat with the Josefina's in it. Um, but I didn't measure anything. I would literally just sit with the amp and the screwdriver and, you know, play. And Well, and we've had that a lot with like the, and I I did multiple guitars. I had three three guitars in here with custom shop Fat 50s hand wounds. Mm -hmm. They all sound entirely different in the guitar. Same wiring specs pretty much, different woods and bodies, but, you know, and heights, and we got the heights all the same. It still sounded different. It's almost like the wood and the build of the guitar. No, nope, no, nope, no, say that can't at all. It's just the setup <laughs> and the pickups. <laughs> Wood has yeah. no, um, no physical properties. properties no. None. And, and no great rock bands came from England. Ouch. Just to say that, that was the sarcasm sort yeah. of connection, just to make sure everyone understood that we were kidding with that, too. It's, um, no. I know I was frustrated. I was talking about like rock bands in England the other day, like just in the shop with some folks. I was like, why are they all so good? Like, every got nothing else to do. I, is that it? You ever been to England? <laughs> My God. <laughs> I just get sad when I think of it. I just went to art school and learned to play music. Well, I just had some friends go over there and they were doing the whole like, you know, Pride and Prejudice area. And like, right. then I, then like, the, the, there's the Ted Lasso tours now, which like part of me wants to do that, even though it's completely goofy. It's just this cute little town, but I just want to, just love that show so much. I'm so sad it's over. It's, it's a great show. Go back to England. No, so you're not a spec hound. I'm not a spec hound. There are a lot of spec hounds. And if that is you, God bless you, and like we we applaud you, and that's and it's a fun journey too. If that's your jam, I mean, I I, I have looked up things just as a starting point, like to make sure that I'm in the ballpark. It's kind of like I tell my guitar students who like to use Ultimate Guitar for tabs. Yes, that, I'm like that's is, a fine like starting. This is point. a painting brush like to get you in the ballpark, but it's probably not 100 percent right. You know what I mean? But like get get in the ballpark and then use your ear, right? And then same thing with specs. Okay. But I mean, sometimes you cannot make that fat respect work. And then some people would freak out and be like, oh, well, the neck angle's broken. wrong. Got to take that guitar back. Well, I mean, all the junk moves for a reason. Because <laughs> like, neck angles change. I mean, yeah, maybe well, in the, extreme cases. The, the neck thing, too, like some of my yeah. fans, like from watching these great pros work with it, like there's so much you can do to your guitar. Like, just trust me, if you're having issues, just move the neck Man, angle. Unscrew it and you, you just get. Dude, when I saw Gabriel from Echo Park, like, kind of freaks me Sean out. Sean got freaked out. He was, he was yeah. like, he unscrew a little bit and he was like, and he's like, I'm gonna do it again. I was like, whoa! He was like, force, force move that thing. Well, there, and it was awesome. There's a, it, you know, there's these. The, we hold these things in such like high regard, you know, and they're almost like sacred to us. And you save up and you buy them and you lust after yes, them for you. I still do. So then you're you want to kind of handle them with kid gloves, you know. But then you see the maker just to assault and molest this guitar. You feel like, Ugh. well, and you remember their tools and their wood. And that, I don't think that diminishes, you know, the fact that they're amazing and they are sort of sacred in a, in a way. But yes, yeah, you can, well, it's like watching Michelangelo like make his sculptures, and like it's I didn't get to see, I wasn't there in person, but I've seen the sculptures seen, in person, seen the live streams yeah. on YouTube. No, but it's I, I don't know how they made it out of stone. And another quick little trick while we're talking about this, when you're having issues with like the guitar playing, just like it's not it's not playing slinky enough for you. There's some magic in the saddles there. Nope. Don't negate the saddles. Like, just the way you adjust your saddles. On an electric guitar in particular, it really makes a difference. It, it, the feel, it, feel, it the makes feel it of the guitar of line. It's not just intonation and string height. There's more to it than that. And don't be afraid to get in there and like experiment a bit to find the balance that's right for you. I used to be very scared, like I was gonna, not even I was gonna mess it up or break it, but like not get it back to like playable. <laughs> if I started tweaking, no, I have seen people uh, do that. That I have to. That, that there are some guitars that are just like magic, and like and there's one that was it was God, it's funny. Because the guitar that I, it's a personal guitar. I've seen this guitar recently, but um, someone, it, someone bought it from us. It was, it was a great, beautiful Fender custom shop. They took it apart. They took the neck off. They took everything in there just because they, I'm a tweaker. I like to set up how I like it, which is cool, but didn't really know what he was doing totally, I guess, on this thing. He's, it's not really his jam. Um, and it just never, we can never get it quite back. You can let the magic smoke out. It, there was some, <laughs> Once can, you let the magic can, smoke out sometimes. <laughs> it was the, the genie That's came out. It was the man. <laughs> Like, it, really it's like a thousand years of longing that it's I just good. watched. <laughs> the mojo comes out and it's like, oh, uh, these are not scientific things. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I mean, they are. You know, somebody on there is like, well, I measure this to the blah, 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 millimeter, thousandth of a millimeter. I mean, that's cool. But I just. Unless your guitar is made of pure metal, 
Well, again, it's never going to move and stuff. It's just, you're always, it's always tweaking a bit. And, and then you'll find that it moves into its own place sometimes. And it's really cool. Even though it's not. Like, That's like, weird too, right? Like my baby strat is just kind of in the spot. I'm like, cool. It works. And I, it's the next guy, a little bit of a bend to it. And <laughs> well, I think there's a point where that your guitar settles into that place and you have to decide, or can you live with that and like work with it? Because otherwise, you're always fighting it. It's like right? being married. You just, yeah. you just hop into bed with your spouse, your the other, ready for a cool, crazy and wild night. You look over there, they're already asleep. You're already comfortable. Get on their cucumber mask, you know. Cucumber. I feel like the magic. <laughs> I feel like the magic slept our relationship. <laughs> no, the CPAP's the going. On you. <laughs> like the farts are flying. It's, well, I just don't feel the spark anymore. Uh. You just you just you work to me with like toxic gas. <laughs> Take some Johnny. Work. Take some work, man. That's why you sleep on the other side now. That's right. Ugh, bro, it's your only guest room. That's all we got for now. Enjoy. I'm watching oh side point. Um, I'm watching Extraction Two <laughs> for the second time right now. Cause it was that it was that enjoyable. It's just it's like watching it. my wife, I'm watching it with her for the second time. She's never seen it. And she was like, This feels like I'm watching a video game. I'm like, exactly. It's sort of weird to see like Chris Helmsworth with no superpowers. I, no, of, you watch the movie. He has super. With, it's completely. Well, I mean, he does. He does have super. This guy kills so not, many people. Not shot the hand. It's yeah, so funny he goes. He's like, stuff. boom. I'm good. Really? He's like, he's holding yeah, a chick. Watch it from like a skyscraper in Austria. Like, but it's awesome. He's. Did you watch it, Derek? I watched it. Last it's it's night. so much fun, right? <laughs> All it's, right, I'm going to watch it. Now. It's a fun movie. It's just dumb. It's, and I, I finally watching. signed my parents up for Netflix because you know they were sort of using my account some too. Whoops. But um, the, the whole password sharing thing, they got us on that one. But they got you. And I was like, you know what? Let's just get, I got you, mom, dad. We'll get you. But the movie's fun, and he is a superhero on this. It's good, and he's so pretty. He's very pretty. You know, he's got a pretty man. You know, he's got, you know, Extraction 1 was a little bit over the top, but I'm going to go back and watch that after he's, this one. He's almost as good looking as Derek. I know you guys have never seen Derek, unless you've been in the shop. <sighs> Derek looks like a Hollywood celebrity, but he not does. that one. I always say I look like a cross between Brad Pitt and Mr. Bean. 98 percent mostly mr. bean, bean. Mostly lean. he leans bean bean <laughs> i love mr bean i just love that his daughter is super I, I just it's crazy and mr it's bean's crazy. net worth is insane so if anybody wants to make fun of mr bean he's laughing all the way to the bank and he's brought joy and happiness to so many millions yes. of people across the universe not just the world space creatures space faring aliens watch that and broadcast out true. there that's all i got extraction two don't worry too much about the specs. Click like, subscribe, hit the bell. Peace be with y'all. Goodbye.